What's up YouTube, Jeremiah Hersey here and welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're going to be talking about once again another question relating to combining data together. In previous videos we've talked about ways to combine data using the merge and the append option. And so just a quick reminder here that with merging you're going to have two different tables but they have a column that is going to be the same in both tables known as a key column. With appending data, you need to have two tables that are similar in nature, same data typing and same data structure, and you're essentially going to add one table on top of the other. We've also talked about the data transformation transpose, which essentially takes the column rows and turns them into columns and the columns into rows. So it's essentially flipping your table 90 degrees. That's the transpose function. So because I've talked about this in several other videos, I'm not going to do a demonstration on combining data or transforming using the transpose function. We're just going to hop right into our test prep question. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are at our test prep question and it says we have two CSV files named product and category. The products file contains the following columns, product ID, product name, supplier ID, and category ID. The categories file contains the following columns, category ID, category name, and category description. It says from the Power BI desktop you import the files into the Power Query editor. We need to create a Power BI data set that will contain a single table named product. The product table will include the following columns, product ID, product name, supplier ID, category ID, category name, and the category description. It asks how should we combine the queries and what should you do to the categories query. So let's take a look at some of the important pieces of information. The first one here is that we are going to create a single table named product. So we're only going to have one table in our final process. And so as we look at the tables, one of the first things we want to identify is are these tables the same or are they different? So as we look at the products file, it contains these four columns here, product ID, product name, supplier ID, and category ID. And the categories file contains the category ID, the category name, and the category description. So as we think about ways that we're going to combine this data together, our first question should be, are these tables the same? Do they contain the same column names, the same data typing? And we can clearly see that these are two different tables. But what we do see is that they contain category ID in both of these tables. And so because there is the same column in both of our tables, this should be an indicator that this is a key column in both of the tables. So this is going to be the column that relates the two. So anytime you have two different tables and they have one column in common, this is going to be our key column. This is an indication that we're going to be performing a merge operation. And so we're going to merge these tables together into a single table because that's what it told us to do. We want to merge into a single table. And as we look at the resultant table down below, we can see that the first four columns here are going to be coming from the products file. So the product ID, product name, supplier ID, and the category ID. So this is going to be coming from the products file. We can also see that down here at the bottom, the category name and category description, these two columns are going to be coming from the categories file. So as we complete this merge operation, we're going to essentially use the category ID as the key column. We're going to merge the two together and then we'll expand the category name and the category description into the table. And so let's take a look at our question down at the bottom. It says combine the queries performing what type of operation? So as we look at the first option append down here, well we know that these two tables are not the same. Remember a append operation needs the same data typing, same data structure, and these are two different tables. So append is automatically off the board because they are not the same table. But 
We also see this option to transpose. Remember, transposing is just flipping our data 90 degrees, columns into rows and rows into columns. So this is not going to be beneficial for us as we're trying to combine the data. And so the correct answer for this first portion is going to be a merge operation. So we're gonna merge these two tables together using that key column, the category ID. The second part of the question says, what should we do to the categories query? As we talked about in previous videos, when you combine data together, it creates what's known as a data lineage. And so this is essentially a link between the tables. And so when we create this link by appending or merging, we cannot delete the query because there is a query dependency. It's dependent upon the table that we use to create or combine the information. And so this first option here to delete the query is not going to be correct because of the data lineage, because of the link between the tables. So our other two options are disable the query load or exclude the query from report refresh. Well, if we exclude the query from the report refresh, as the category file gets updated, we're not going to have the latest data, which is not beneficial, which is not good for our report. We always wanna make sure that we have the latest data available. And so if we exclude that report refresh, it's not going to allow us to have the latest data. And so we're going to get rid of this answer choice. And so the last one is disable the load on the query. So what this does is it doesn't allow the table to be loaded into the Power BI desktop, but it maintains the data lineage for the combined data. And so this is going to be our best option because our goal here is to have a single table with all of the information. And so we need to make sure that we disable the load on the category query after we merge the two together. So our two answer choices are going to be, we're gonna merge the tables together on the category ID, the key column, and then we're gonna disable the load on the query, which is going to allow us to still include it in the report refresh, but it's not going to load the table into our Power BI desktop. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.